All right, so this first exercise that we're gonna go into is gonna open up the spine. A lot of us are, this, this exercise that I'm about to do is going to be to mobilize the spine. A lot of us are sitting around a lot more than we're used to or more often than not due to, you know, all of the closures and such. So we're gonna do some isometric loading of the spine and basically we're gonna get our spine into extension and flexion while creating tension and building up some strength in those movements just to kind of mitigate any like back pain or aches or uh, any fatigue that you might feel throughout the day from sitting all day long and this can also be something that you incorporate like into your your you know, everyday routine for when you're like sitting at the desk and doing work all day long and you start feeling some aches. Okay, so we're gonna start by getting on all fours. And from here, we all are pretty familiar with cat camels, right? So we're gonna start by going in to the cat position. So getting a nice big arched back. And I really want you to focus on pushing your back up towards the ceiling and rounding your shoulder blades forward. Now from here, I want you to think about pulling the floor in together. Okay, so while you're holding this position, you're thinking about drawing your hands and your knees in, in the direction towards each other, okay? And then we're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. So go ahead and get into that nice big arched back. And now I want you to start pulling your fingers and your knees in towards each other while keeping that arch back and hold it for 10, nine, hold that, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now draw your hands and knees away from each other like you're trying to Separate the floor into two pieces. And as you start to push your hands and knees away from each other, you're gonna go into more of an arched back, okay? Now hold it for 10, creating that tension. Nine, pushing your hands and knees away from each other. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, relax. Now let's go into the cow and get into that big arched back, pushing your belly button towards the floor. Okay, pushing your belly button towards the floor. I like you're trying to toot your butt up in the air, okay? We're gonna do the same thing that we did when we were in the cat, but now we're gonna go in the opposite directions in terms of force of where we're pulling our hands and our knees, okay? So now we're gonna hold that arched position in our back and I want you to push your hands and knees away from each other, okay? Push your hands and knees away from each other, maintaining that arched back. Elbows are locked out nice and straight. Hold it for nine, eight, seven, keep pushing, six, five, four, you're trying to tear the floor into two pieces, three, two, one, keep that arched back, and now we're gonna pull our hands and knees in towards each other, getting deeper into that arched back, okay? Getting more extension out of your spine. So now start pulling your hands and knees together, pulling your back into more extension and hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and relax. So that's isometric loading of the spine. I encourage you to use that throughout the day whenever you find yourself sitting at your desk for long hours, just to kind of mobilize your spine and create some strength and build up some strength in your spine. That way over time, you'll mitigate the injuries from just sitting and feeling all that uh, tightness in your back and stuff, okay? First hip uh, exercise, core exercise. We got planks with hip taps. So you're here on your elbows and you're tapping your hip, bringing it back down, and tapping your other hip. Let me show you from this position. So we're here, maintaining sad dog, not arching the back. Tapping, 
Bringing hand back down, tapping hip, bringing hand back down. We'll do 30 seconds. I want you to open your legs on this one. So that way you can really focus on isolating your core and not letting your hips rock back and forth, okay? So we'll do this one on your elbows to make it just a little bit harder. And your timer starts in three, two, one, and you are on. Yep, just like that, Joe. AJ, straighten out your knees. Yeah, nice straight knees. Now, really try and focus on not rocking those hips. Make the core work just a little bit harder. Halfway there, 15 seconds. Good, 10. AJ, knees straight, knees straight, AJ. There you go. Good, Donna. Three, two, one, and rest. Very good, very good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and lie on our belly. It's a little hot in here. Donna, if you, yeah, yeah. Move the camera just a little bit because you're kind of uh, out of the shot. Perfect. All right, we're gonna do our shoulder raises for this one. So we're gonna lie flat. Yep, go ahead and lie flat on your belly. So we're here, we'll do face down. Palms are touching the floor, so knuckles are up towards the ceiling. From here, I want you to raise your hands as high as you can off of the ground. Now start bringing those hands out to the side in a T, still pushing them up towards the ceiling. From here, I want you to start to rotate your palms and get your palms towards the ceiling. Bring your hands together, stacking them one on top of the other without letting them touch your low back. Now go ahead and drop your hands on your back and relax. Good. Now lift your hands off of your low back. Good, Joe. Lift your hands off of your low back. Now start to extend your arms out straight pushing it up towards the ceiling. Start to get some rotation, rotating those hands back around, bringing them up, 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 and bring them around. You got it done in AJ, just bring it around. There you go. Good, and rest. I'm gonna have you guys go for one more of those. So go ahead, face the ground, palms are touching the floor. Go ahead and lift your arms off the ground, elbows are straight, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, bring those arms out to the side, make a T, hold it for five, four, touch the ceiling, three, two, good, one, start rotating those hands and get those hands on your back, beautiful, very good, hold it there for five, four, three, two, one, go ahead and rest, very good, now let's get those hands off of your back, hold it for five, four, Three, two, one. Let's go back out into that T. Arms straight. Oh no, AJ, we're not done yet. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and bring it around to the front. Bring it all the way around. Hold it for five, arms off the ground. Four, three, two, one, and rest. That was good. Very good. All right, back to your plank with hip taps. Um, AJ, did you get what I was saying about your knees being straight? You got it? Okay. Time's on in three, two, one. All you. Joe, get your hips up just a little bit. So walk your hands towards your elbows. Good. Good, Donna. Good, AJ. Try not to rock those hips. If you feel your body rocking too much, you can open your legs just a little bit. There you go. Very good. Yes, AJ, that's solid. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Rest, rest, rest. All right, we're going for the frog tails and rails. Maybe you guys remember this one from last week. Spreading your legs as much as you can. Joe, you'll like this one. Kind of hang out here for a little bit. Let your body get 
adapted to that stretch. You should feel it in your inner hip, probably inner thigh area. Good. Let's go ahead and bring it down to our elbows. Yeah. Let's hang out here for a little bit before we start ranking it up and going into our pails and rails. So for this one, we're gonna start by pulling our knees together. So kind of driving your knees into the ground and then holding that for 10 seconds. And then afterwards, we're gonna back off of it. And then we're gonna try and open up our legs even more. So driving our knees away from each other and getting deeper into that stretch. Let's give it another 10 seconds before we start doing that though. You should feel a little bit of tightness in your hips right now, just holding this position which that's okay as long as there's no pain. If you feel any pain, back off of that stretch just a little bit to where it's comfortable. All right, so now we're gonna start driving our legs together like we're trying to close our legs, but it's an isometric movement, so nothing should be happening except creating tension down into the ground. So I want you to start rank cranking it up in three, two, one. Drive your knees into the floor, hold it for 10, nine, Eight, like you're trying to close your legs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly back off of it, nice and slow. Should take you about five seconds to relax from creating that tension. And now we're gonna open our legs. So our knees are gonna be going out in the opposite direction, away from each other. Start opening your legs in three, two, one and spread hold it for 10 9 open for business 8 7 6 open open 5 4 3 2 1 relax we're gonna go for one more okay guys just one more start closing your legs in three two one, bring those knees together. Yes, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take about five seconds to back off of all of that tension you just created. Slowly deload. Good, now let's spread those legs. Open those legs. 10. Nine, eight, seven, come on guys, six, five, open it up, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let's go ahead and lean forward, or AJ, you can come out of it like that too. Just kind of lean forward and come out of that one nice. And hey, Whatever's comfortable, I'm okay with it, I'm okay with it. I just know my hips be tight coming out of that one. All right, we're going back to the plank with hip tap. We'll start in three, two, one, and you are all on. Low back is flat. You're trying not to rock those hips. You're keeping those abs nice and tight. Donna, that is beautiful, Donna. That's like textbook right there. We're almost there. 15 seconds. AJ, watch those knees. Oh yeah, you caught it. There you go. Joe, watch those hips. Try not to rock. Yeah, come on. You got it. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, so we're at our halfway point. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and grab some water real quick. Give you about two seconds. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go ahead and lock in our knee. We're going to do some knee external internal rotations. And then we're also going to go for our ankle cars. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start with the knee. So lock in that arm, I mean, your leg. Lock in your leg. And I want you to rotate 
your foot to the inside of your body. Yeah, towards the midline of your body. Good. From here, I want you to extend your knee as much as you can while rotating that foot inwards. Good. Bring it back down while still getting that internal rotation of the knee. Let's do one more. Yep. Straighten out that knee, turning that foot in. Very good. Bringing it back down, still turning that foot in while going into extension and flexion. Beautiful. Now let's go for external rotation. So we're going to turn the foot out. Good. Create as much torque as you can in that knee. Now we're going to go for extension while still turning that foot out. Good, good. Now bring it back down. Still creating that tension that way, turning the foot out as we actively go into extension and flexion. Let's go one more time, straightening out that knee as much as we can, turning that foot out. There you go. And then bring it back down. Beautiful. Now let's go for our cars. Let's start by pressing on the gas pedal, toes down towards the floor. Let's bring it into the left. Bring it up. Pull the to toes in towards the shin. Now let's go out to the right while pulling it up. And then we're going down. Beautiful, now let's go in the opposite direction. Down to the right, bringing it up at an angle. Toes towards the shin, then to the left, and then all the way down, beautiful. Let's get the other leg, lock it in. Let's start by going for internal rotation of that knee. So we're turning the foot in as much as we can. From here, we're gonna extend while still turning that foot in. So let's start extending. Good, turning that foot in still. Beautiful, bring it back down, turning the foot in. Very good, very good, very good. Let's go for one more, turning that foot in. Yes, and then right back down. Now let's go for external rotation of that knee. So let's turn that foot out. Good. Now let's extend the knee, still turning the foot out. Beautiful. Bring it back down, turning that foot out. Let's get one more. Bringing it on up, turning the foot out to the left, still creating the tension in the knee. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then right back down. Solid. Now let's get the rotation in the ankle. Let's start by pressing on the gas pedal. Toes are down towards the floor. Let's bring it to the right, towards the midline of our body. Good. Bring it up nice and slow. Pulling those toes in towards our shin. Pulling them up, up, up. Now bring it out to the left. Good. Bring it down. And now we're back at our, our starting point. Now let's make our way in the opposite direction, bringing it to the left. Good, bring it up to the left, really pulling those toes as high up as you can, creating that stretch. Bring those toes up towards your shin. Beautiful, we're still making our way around. Now we're up towards the midline of our body. Good, good, good. And then bringing it right back down to that starting position. Perfect. All right, we have single leg plank while pushing away from the floor. That's our next core exercise. So, you know your plank is here, right? We're gonna lift up one foot from the ground. We're gonna hold that for 15 seconds. And I want you to think about driving your elbows into the floor, okay? And then you're just gonna hold that position, okay? And then we'll get the other side, leg up, and then you're really pushing into the floor. So notice when I start driving my elbows into the ground, you'll notice my upper back kind of rounds a little bit. So I'm here, back is flat, one leg is up. I'm driving my elbows into the ground, right? So I'm getting those shoulder blades to round forward and create more tension into the ground. Good? You got it? Okay. Time starts in three, two, one, 15 seconds, one leg is off the ground and you're pushing your elbows in the ground. Think about rounding the upper back, and getting your shoulder blades to round forward. AJ, I think you could push away from the ground a little bit more. 
And switch, there you go, switch legs, that's perfect. Almost there. Push, 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 five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Guys, did that make sense about pushing into the ground and kind of rounding your shoulder blades? Did that make sense? Yeah? Okay. All right. We shall now go for the pretzel position. All right, let's go ahead and get into this 90-90. Yep. Let's get our hands in front. Good. Let's kind of pull our body down as much as we can, get into a comfortable stretch. Yeah. All right, so now I want you guys to focus on this back leg, okay? What we're gonna do first is drive that foot into the floor, creating some torque and tension in this back hip. And then after that, I'm gonna tell you to drive your knee into the ground and lift your foot off of the floor, okay? So first we're gonna start by pushing that foot into the floor. So I want you to start driving that foot into the ground in three, two, one, press that foot in the floor, Hold it like you're trying to get your knee off the ground. 10, nine, eight, AJ, push your heel in the ground. Seven, there you go, six, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, relax that knee, relax your foot. Now we're gonna get that foot off of the floor while pushing our knee into the ground. So start picking that foot up in three, two, one. Get it up as high as you can. Hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven. Pick it up, six, five. There you go, four, three, two, one, and rest. Let's do one more. Driving that foot into the ground, and let's really, <laughs> you okay, AJ? I know that one's tough. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start by uh, driving our foot into the ground and getting our knee off the ground, okay? So start pushing your foot in the ground in three, two, one. Foot is in the floor. You're lifting that knee off of the floor. Hold it for 10, nine. Try and get that knee as high as you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, relax. Now let's go in the opposite direction, AJ's favorite. Drive the knee into the floor, pick that foot up and hold it. 10, nine, good Joe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful. We're gonna go for your plank on one leg and then we're gonna go back and do the other hip after we go for your plank, okay? So we got 15 seconds. We're here, one leg's off the floor, and then rounding that upper back, pushing away from the ground. You're on in three, two, one, and go. Donna, try and push away from the ground a little bit more with your arms. Yes, there you go, beautiful. Good, Joe. And go ahead and switch legs. We got 15 seconds. Good. Keep pressing into the ground with your upper body. We're creating tension all throughout the body on this one. You got three. AJ, tuck your butt. Two, one, and rest. Beautiful. Now let's get the other side. And then coming down into that stretch. Good. Ooh, Joe, I got you sweating, honey. I like, I like. All right, we're gonna start by pressing that foot into the ground first, okay? Start pressing in three, two, one. Press that foot in the ground, get that knee up as high as you can. Hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest that knee. Now start driving that knee into the ground, getting that 
foot off the ground, okay? In three, two, one. Pick that foot off the ground. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, really good. Five, lift that foot up, Joe. Four, three, good. Two, one, and rest. We're gonna go back to pre pressing that foot into the floor in three, two, one, knee up. Uh-oh, Joe, 10, nine, eight. I thought you said you had hips like Shakira. Seven, six, five, get that knee up. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Now start lifting that foot up. 10, nine, there you go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Very good. Last plank, 15 seconds each leg. Timer starts. Whoa. Timer starts in three, two, one, all you. Tucking your butt, pressing away from the floor. Very good. You're gonna switch in five, four, three. Good, Joe, two, and switch. Tuck your butt, AJ. Beautiful. Round that upper back. Really get those shoulder blades to round forward. Yes. Come on, almost there. Three, two, one and drop it down, drop it down. We're gonna go for this last one for your shoulders and kind of open up the upper back a little bit. Um, we've probably done this stretch a couple of times during the cool down. So I want you to think about getting your butt up in the air. So we're not gonna go for an actual child's pose, but I want some space between you and the floor. So get your butt up in the air and press your chest towards the ground. You'll know if you're in the position in the right position if you feel that stretch through your shoulders and you feel some stretching in your upper back. Are we all good on that? Okay, perfect. All right, so let's hold this position and we're gonna actually do this one arm at a time and we're gonna start to press our right hands into the floor like we're trying to create a dent in the ground and then after that we're gonna try and lift our right hand off of the ground, okay? So we're gonna hold the position, press into the floor, hold it for 10 seconds, then lift that arm off the ground and hold it for 10 seconds, okay? So I want you to start pressing the right hand in the ground in three, two, one. Press as hard as you can, hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax that right hand. Now drive it up towards the ceiling. 10, nine, eight, pick it up. Seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, let's get that left arm. Push that left hand into the ground in three, two, one. Press as hard as you can. 10, nine, eight. Push, 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 seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, now lift that hand up towards the ceiling. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, pick it up, five, good, four, three, two, one, and Relax. Whoa, that was hard. Hard for me at least. All right, we're gonna finish off with a quick hollow body rock. Quick burnout. We're gonna go 20 seconds rocking. Then we're gonna go 20 seconds hold. And then we're gonna bring our feet in just to make it a little bit harder because our abs are gonna be a little fatigued. And then we're gonna do the last 20 second hold here, okay? So first 20 seconds rocking, 20 second hold. And then 20 seconds, we'll bring our legs in, still keeping our shoulders off the ground. Let me get a timer. Okay, are you ready? We are on in three, two, one. Let's do it. Rocking. Yep. 
Making sure your low back is flat. Five seconds, then you're gonna hold it. And hold. Good. If you start to feel your abs getting fatigued, you can bend your knees just a little bit. Make sure you're keeping your low back flat. Three, two, one, and knees bent, shoulders up, hold it, last 20 seconds. Yep, if your neck is tired, you can put your hands on your head. Still crunching forward. We got eight seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and you are done. Let's do this quick, quick stretch really quick. Just stretch out our abs. You guys know this one, the Cobra. Let's start on our elbows and then we'll come up onto our hands. Give it a couple seconds here first. Think about pressing your belly button towards the floor and pushing your chest up. So think about your hips. Pretend like your hips are stuck to the ground, right? And you're trying to pull yourself away, but your hips are static, your belly button's driving to the floor and you're really stretching out those abdominal muscles. Good. Now let's come up onto our hands, get into a deeper stretch. If you already feel like that was a good enough stretch, you can hang out on your elbows. Still driving your belly button to the ground. Good. Give it another 10 seconds. And done.